Let's go ahead and dive right in here. I'm going to go over to my Canvas course or just over to my Canvas page. <clears throat> All right, I'll try to go slow and I'm going to go through this a couple times to make sure we know how to move your old stuff to your new course. Um, so once um, we've got our power school up and running for the new year, you're going to start to see your 2021 2022 courses populate here in your unpublished courses. So since we don't have our new courses yet, I've created just kind of some demo sandboxy courses to show us how to do this. All right. Step one is that you're going to open your new course. You're not even going to go to last year's course to get your, your stuff. I'm going to go into my brand new course. We're going to imagine this is my 21, 22 course, Sickler new course. But I want all that awesome stuff I created last year. So first button I'm going to click is I'm going to go down to the bottom here where it says settings. It's going to take me to the, my settings page. Maybe you guys have been there before. Over on the right hand side, there's a button that says import course content. So you're going to click there. Then it's going to take us to the import content. For content type, we have a drop down menu. And you click this, you get a lot of options. You're going to be selecting copy a Canvas course. Mine might look a little tiny different from yours because my account rights are a little bit different. You might have a drop down menu where it says search for a course, where it's just going to automatically, you'll click the drop down and you'll select which course it is that you're bringing into this new one. So for me, I'm going to take my Sickler Spark demo. So you can see it started populating there. So I'm going to select my course. So we're imagining this is my last year's course that I've got all my awesomeness in. You'll notice that after I selected my course, that it's now asking me a few more questions. This first walkthrough, I'm going to show you all content because I'm guessing that most of you just want to bring all of that goodness from last year into your new course. So I'm going to say all content. And then this is optional for you where it says options, adjust events and due dates. I usually click that and you'll see that it created this new drop down for me. I usually say remove due dates. I always click that, but there still has been times where due dates are still attached to them. So that I can't explain or know why it does that. And then you're going to click your import button. It says queued. It should start up here in just a minute. It'll probably take anywhere from, from like five to 10 minutes. So while that is processing, I'm going to go back to my dashboard and show you because I also said so that way I showed you all of the content I'm going to show you how we can do that. Just bringing some content, maybe you're like. Man, I want all of um, my morning work activities that we did, but. Since I was just kind of learning the ropes of canvas, I have a lot of stuff that I don't want to bring to the new course so. If that's your route, so we're going to pretend again, I've just opened up my brand new course for the year. And this, in case you missed something in your notes before or want to check them, I'm going settings, import course content over on the far right. I'm saying that I'm going to copy a Canvas course. You're probably going to have a drop down here, which will make it much easier to find the course that you want. So now I'm going to choose the path of just saying select specific content, which feels weird because I haven't actually selected any content, but this is what's going to happen. I'm going to say import. 
which felt scary because I don't want it to import everything. But what it's doing is down here, my current job, it's saying it's not going to bring anything until I tell it what I want it to select. So I'm going to click this red button to bring just specific content. I use this like specific content, select content a lot. If like I had a sandbox and say I had a bunch of garbage stuff in my sandbox, but I made one really cool page that I want to bring into this course. This is where I usually use the select content. So I'm going to say select content and you're going to see that it's showing me everything or all the categories from my old course. I've got my files category, my modules, my assignments. And next to them, there's these arrows. So let's say I click this arrow next to modules. It's showing me every module that's in my last year's course. So I see all of my weeks that I had set up. So let's say I'm, I just want to take my first nine weeks. So I'm just going to click each of those. I'm going to say select content. And now you can see that it is queued. And that means here in a second, it there we go. That one has already started running. This one's going to be a lot quicker since I had just done those modules. So I'm actually going to use this kind of as my example here first. We had a question. Oh, yeah. Um, will it delete all of last year's calendar dates or just adjust them? Um, I think, and I've never used the button before, um, there is that shift due dates um, that I've not used. So you can say shift dates, and I'll be honest, I've not used that before, so I'd have to look into it. When I do remove dates, say like I had something last year that was due on September 9th, and I had put in that September 9th due date on the assignment it's just going to have no due date on it at all so i i have to go in clicking like to edit that assignment and just putting in my new due date for it but i i've honestly never played with like the shifting of dates did that answer the question it, it kind of did uh, it's me who asked the question can i ask hey. another question if i import from say my math class last year and then I also have something from a sandbox. Can I import from two different places into the same new class? Absolutely. Can I do import one? You can absolutely do that. Um, you'll just have to do your import twice. So like, say for, so I'm in this course where, let me go to the homepage to show you. This is what we just imported. I've got all my first nine weeks of that course. But now let's say like you said, Oh, I've got something in a sandbox course. All I have to do is, is just walk through those same steps again, going settings, import course content, copy a Canvas course. This is where you would be looking for that specific thing you wanted. So let me go to like my sunny side. So imagine this is my sandbox course and I just want a specific page from it. I'm going to do the same thing that I did before on selecting specific content. And I'm going to say, I just want that one page that was instructional videos, select it. And now it's going to bring that in as well. Okay. So if it's a page, it'll just stick it at the bottom of where the pages are. It'll just put it behind the other import or yep. underneath it or something. Yeah. So now if I click on pages, in my course, it's probably the only page that's in this course now. Now you see I have my instructional videos page that I pulled from my Sunnyside PD course, but I also, when I click on my modules, you see all of the modules that I pulled from a completely different course. So yeah, you can hodgepodge things from all different courses into one. I know that the process looks confusing because there's several clicks to it, but once you get the hang of it, and follow those specific steps, you will be good to go. Can I ask one more question? I, yeah. I was watching my course today and the teacher had told us to go to commons, but this seems easier. I don't have to save it. Is this an easier way since we keep our courses? This is my personal preference. Um, 
you know, back when I first started using Canvas and it was a relatively new tool, I had been using Commons. I personally am not the biggest fan of Commons. I, I have trouble sometimes finding my own things in Commons. So this, this is my preferred method. It feels easier to me. I know everybody has their own preferences, but for me, this is my, my favorite way. The only time I would use commons is um, because when you do your import, you can only see your courses. So say you are new to your school or the grade level or department and your colleague who is in the same position has just an awesome canvas that they're willing to share those resources with with you, that's when I would be using commons. Then they could put their whole course in commons and you could get it from them. Um, but if you're simply just needing to bring your own content in, I would follow these settings import, import course content. Thank you.